Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert your Baradza and Core to a stepless grinder. Okay, so if you notice, the steps are still there. You can hear them click. Okay, we're going to make it stepless so that we get precise grind. Alright, so what you want to do first is to remove the hopper. You're going to turn it all the way to the right until it pops out. There you go. We put it to the side and then we remove the gasket. You just have to pull it just like that. But be careful not to rip the gasket off. You can see it right there. I hope you can see it. All right. But be, be careful. But this is pretty cheap anyway. Now you're going to want to remove the, the upper upper burr. This is the one. Okay. So you, you remove that. Take that off. Just like that. Let's give it aside. Then, of course, you have to remove the grounds bin. And also keep it aside. Now, what you need to have is a zero uh, Phillips screwdriver, a flat screw driver. Okay, this is we're gonna use this to pry off the cover of the grinder. Okay. Um, if you if this doesn't work, which most of the time it will, you can have a bread knife handy with you just in case the flat screwdriver doesn't work. So what I also always do is keep a towel handy with me just in case I need to cover uh, the cover with the towel to uh, avoid damaging it, okay? So we'll take the knob off, keep it aside. And if you notice, there's an opening at the bottom of the grinder. This is where you're gonna put the knife or the flat screwdriver in and you wanna pry it off, okay? So let's just do that, let's do that. So I'm going to insert screwdriver here or I should just do it without it so you can see it so here you go I inserted the flat screwdriver and then I kind of pry it off a little bit just be careful not to damage the cover yeah be very gentle while you do it so you notice it lifts a little bit now we go to the other side and we'll do that as well okay right here you go so the opening has become wider you notice okay so you just have to pull the cover up And then right there we took off the cover of the grinder now the next thing you're gonna do um, or I should actually mention that this method is also used when you are calibrating the grinder <clears throat> so you have the grinder for about five years now and you know it grinds coarser and coarser and coarser and you wanna Kind of calibrate it to grind finer again all right uh, you can watch tons of videos on youtube uh, about how to calibrate the barraza and core um but i you know I, i'll kind of cover that in this video since we're gonna go through through on how to calibrate it anyway so i'm gonna uh twist or turn 
it counterclockwise or should take, sorry clockwise so clockwise or so I'm turning it clockwise and while I do that I kind of look underneath this black uh, panel right here and if you can see this is the screw yeah this is actually this is the calibrating uh, uh, part right here yeah this is where you calibrate the grinder so when, when you when you first bought it this screw right here will be placed in the first so it's it's placed in here as opposed to this as what you can see in the video um, I, I I actually put it here because I grind espresso so I wanted to grind a little bit finer that's why I did that so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the screw so if you notice it still clicks right so we'll remove the screw right and you make sure don't lose it keep it somewhere safe if you have a cup to put it into you better have that then once you remove that what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna turn this part right here counterclockwise okay you're gonna turn it all the way until it pops out so we're gonna do just that you have to hold the white thing right down down here okay just underneath this black thing right here this underneath there is a, a white that sticks to this actually locks to this so you want to hold that and then turn it turn this clockwise until it pops out just like that all right if you notice there is a tiny knob I don't know if you can see it from in the video but this is how it looks like yeah this is all right yeah I'm, I'm, I zoom, I'm zooming in a little bit so you can see all right so, so the lens is focusing into it now so this is this is the knob that makes the click so if you remove this entirely you just made yourself a Barazza Encore stepless grinder yeah so we're going to remove this because we don't want the steps and we want a precise grind so we'll take that out of the way and then see if you notice this is there's a spring here yeah this goes here yeah, and that cover that I just took off, this one, this is what makes the clicks. You see, there's a, there's a thread inside of it. That's what makes the clicks. And it uh, goes into this. Yeah, so we'll remove that. And then, we'll put this back to where it was. So it's going to be like this, all right? Now, make sure that these two holes these two holes yeah, now you can see it. That these two holes that you see should be visible when you put this in here okay when you align this into these three holes there are three holes you want to aim the one that is on the farther right so that's what we're going to do okay i don't know if you can see it but you get the idea 
uh, you should be able to see those two holes on these hole on the white uh, turn thing yeah on the white turn thing, yeah so you should be able to see those two holes there and then you will now put the screw back in Yep, just made sure that's perfectly aligned and I can see the two holes inside. Right. Perfect. So we screwed it back in. Now, if we turn it clockwise. We turn it clockwise, we turn it counterclockwise, you don't hear the clicks anymore. And you can kind of adjust the grind precisely. Yeah, if you are somewhere between 6 and 5 and you, you couldn't kind of get the perfect balance of the two, now you can. So we'll put things back together the same uh, the same in just reverse order so we put this back in now we're gonna put the cover back in it's very easy you just pop the the whole panel there whole cover there and then just uh, push it down yeah make sure that the button clicks before you do before you push it down all the all the way it doesn't so I have to realign it now it does okay Test it again. Perfect. Now, let's put the knob back on. Make sure it's perfectly twisted fine. Okay. Then, you will put back the upper burr. We'll put the gasket back in. Okay. And then we'll put this back in but just just before we put this back in make sure that the tabs are aligned yeah okay Now it is aligned, so put it back in now. Okay. So if you notice, steps are gone. Steps are gone. Yeah, you just made your encore stepless grinder. All right. So I'm gonna show you that it worked because I'm gonna go finer. Or I'm gonna go on the finest grind and grind some beans and then I'm gonna go to the courses setting the courses setting which is at about, at about 40 39 ish and then I'm gonna grind the beans as well this is gonna show you that it worked it worked that I just made my Barazza and core a stepless grinder so I'm just gonna plug this in all right, I'm just gonna plug this in, put some beans in, grind, and show you the difference. So this is my beans right here. We're gonna remove the cover of the hopper. Okay, take some beans, put in the hopper. Okay, and then we're gonna adjust the finest grind. Say 
Yeah, see, just that. Okay. There's no beans in the hopper. Let's just clean this out. Then let's grind some beans. So that's the finest grind. I don't know guys if you can see it, but there you go. It's pretty fine because it leaves dust in my in my hands. If you notice, yeah. So this is good for espresso because I can still feel the texture. That's not really powder or something. But yeah, you know Barat Sinkor can go finest, finer than this one. Okay, then I'm gonna turn all the way to the to the right. Yeah, or dial it to the right. So 40. There you go, 40. Make sure that there's no beans in the upper. I mean, in the ground beans. So let's try this one out. See, that is good for cold brew, I would say. Yeah, so this is the finest. And this is the coarsest. All right, guys. So, look, I don't have steps anymore. My encore is a stepless one. <laughs> thanks guys cheers make sure you subscribe so I can have some motivation to make more videos such as this thank you everyone cheers